What is up everyone, Ryan here again, this time coming at you with part 1 of a 3 part video series regarding rooting Android phones and installing custom ROMs. The purpose of this video will be to give some background information on what it actually means to root your device, and in the following two videos I'll be going through the step by step process of actually rooting your device, with a live example using my old HTC Droid Incredible. But before getting ahead of ourselves, let's go over some of the basics. First off, rooting, or obtaining root access to your phone, gives you elevated rights and permissions to the Android software on your device. You can think of it as being granted administrator access on a PC if you did not have administrative privileges before. With these new permissions, you're able to install custom software or ROMs on your phone. Now this may sound like a big to-do just to make your phone behave a little differently, but there are some major advantages. Depending on which ROM you choose, you can get better performance, speed, or battery life. But the main draw of installing custom ROMs is caused by Google's fragmentation of Android. This is an issue where new versions of the Android operating system are released by Google, but phone manufacturers do not update their devices immediately. Only Google's Nexus line of devices, like the Nexus 7 and Galaxy Nexus, are guaranteed an upgrade. So Android 4.1 Jelly Bean was just released, but phones are still not being upgraded to Ice Cream Sandwich Android 4.0. However, modders have developed a way to install newer versions of Android onto rooted devices that would not otherwise be able to get the latest updates. With all these perks of rooting your device, unfortunately there are some risks. In many cases, rooting your device will void your warranty, and if you do not carry out the procedure correctly, you could end up with a useless phone. This is why I suggest to watch my following videos and also conduct more research for yourself before diving in. Okay, so I've been waving these phones at you for the majority of this video. And looking at the Droid Incredible, you can see that it looks a little like it's running Jelly Bean. This is because I'm using an app called ADW Launcher, which will do that for you. However, it only skins Android to look like Jelly Bean, and the added performance and security features are not included. The Incredible is a great phone, but it's over two years old, running slowly, and mine has a shattered screen. This is why I'm going to root this device and install a new ROM, hopefully improving the performance of my Droid Incredible. Now I'm still somewhat new to rooting devices, which is why I'm going ahead and using my old phone that I no longer use, in case something happens, it's not my daily driver. So I hope you all have learned something from this video, and stay tuned for the next part where we will delve into rooting this phone. As always, I thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to talking to you next time. See ya!